What's up guys, I'm Beatrix and if this is your first time on this channel, I'm a classical guitarist. I'm making music videos and helpful tips for classical guitarists like probably yourself. <laughs> and uh, today I want to target posture because as you may know, one of the, I don't know, maybe the secret of, of uh, the good playing is not only to have really good technique, but also to have a really good basic posture. Yeah, so that's what I want to target today and I want to give you some tips how to sit well with the classical guitar. I will give you some do's and don'ts, what to do, what to avoid. Stop talking, <laughs> let's start the video. <laughs> okay, so if you are here, you probably know that uh, the basic classical guitarist posture is a little bit asymmetrical. Usually people are sitting with one uh, raised leg and the other leg is on the, on the floor. Yeah, and uh, probably this little basic device is familiar for you. This is uh, a footstool. This is called a footstool. This is the most basic, let's say, most basic guitar support on the market. So first of all, I want to I want to show how to sit well with this little device, but I don't recommend to to continue practicing with it or, or to keep practicing with it for a long time and I will explain it why uh, later. Okay, but let's start with this. Or you can just jump to the end of the video and, and see what I, I think about it. So I was playing with uh, with a footstool for, for, for many years. Uh, I was playing with a footstool for a long time and uh, I don't play with it anymore, but this is a very simple basic thing. This is this is how it looks. And what you should do is to put it under your left leg. Mm, I'm checking if I can go a little further. Oh. Okay, I think you will see me well now. So one more time. Footstool on the floor, left leg on the footstool. And what we want here is to, your leg, your leg should point uh, forward, directly forward, and uh, this part, the left part of your leg should be in, you know, in one line with your body. So don't open it too much, don't bend it too much, so just uh, in one line, one line with your body. Other leg should be kind of like a 45 degree angle yeah kind of kind of 45 degree angle it's just uh, you need a little space between uh, your legs uh, another important thing before uh, before i show the position posture with the instrument i want to say that make sure that your your shoulders are straight you have a straight spine shoulders are in the same line so uh don't don't do this <laughs> okay all right and uh, I love, I really love how um, Brandon Ecker says that your heart should be above your hips and uh, your shoulders should be above your heart, kind of. Okay, but uh, what, <laughs> what, he means, what he means is that uh, everything should be in, in a straight line. So look at me, if I'm sitting like this, my, my heart is above my hips my shoulders are above my heart and uh, and i have a straight spine and this is a healthy sitting posture this is this is a healthy posture for guitarists but if i i don't know if i do this this looks very unhealthy uh, this doesn't feel good at all and uh, my shoulders are are not in the same line with uh, with my hips or my my heart so make sure to have a straight spine. So now that we have this amazing knowledge about how to sit without a guitar, we can try sitting with one. So, uh, you know, pointing forward, a uh, straight line here and straight back. 45 degree. And now you are sitting with your guitar. Your, the guitar, guitar's neck, the guitar's neck should be kind of in a 45 degree angle again. Huh. What a coincidence. Okay, all right, so 45 degree. And uh, avoid, avoid going too horizontal, avoid going too vertical. I know many guitarists like to play 
uh, like this. I know Hannah Murphy holds the guitar quite, 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 quite. So like this. <laughs> but if you are just uh, experimenting your posture, what's comfortable for you, what works the best for you, I don't recommend to go to any you know extreme extreme ways. So now the guitar is sitting in your lap and uh, the headstock of the guitar is in the same line with your eyes and also the hole, the sound hole is in the same line with your face as well. So amazing coincidence again. Um, and next thing to keep in mind is that you don't need to see the fretboard. You don't, don't need to see every note. So for example, from here, I only see maybe the sixth and the fifth string and then it's it's kind of it's it's not so clear not so clean so you you don't really need to see the fretboard but if you really want to see the fretboard you probably want to do something like this like bending over and looking at your hand and uh, that will give you the posture i told you you want to avoid so that will give you this this uh, weird shoulder posture so we want to avoid that so we want straight back so how to do that if you want to see a little more your left hand what what your fretting hand is doing don't bend over but lay back a little bit so if you lay back a little bit the guitar will uh, follow you the guitar will bend like this so at this angle towards you and uh, you will see uh, your fretting hand a little better I don't advise you to hold the guitar um, perpendicular to the floor. I mean, 100% perpendicular, that's, that's not good. I also don't advise you to bend it too much like this. That's also not a, not a good posture for your, for your hands. But you can bend it a little bit towards yourself. But as I just said, you don't need to see your fretting hand all the time. Now let's talk about the right hand. The, basic right hand position is uh, somewhere above above the sound hole so you want to put your hand there and you want your elbow to fall on the guitar wherever it naturally falls for me for me it sits like this so this part of my hand of my my uh, arm is touching the guitar but uh, but it's different for everyone i want you to avoid going like this for example, I see many people put this part here, uh, but this will give you an asymmetrical shoulders again. See, so I'm, I'm sitting like this and it's not good. It's not good. It may produce a nice sound, maybe, but it's not good for your body. So make sure to keep your shoulders straight and then try to find a a very simple, a very natural position for your right hand. Look at me. So I'm, I'm sitting with straight shoulders. I just raise my arm and I let it fall naturally here on the top of the guitar. That's it. So when you are looking for a good posture, you really need to keep in mind that you need simple uh, postures, simple, natural feelings, uh, what you need, because that's that's something that's easy to reproduce, you know, that's something that's easy to, to maintain. All right, so one more time, maybe uh, a good posture is when you have a raised left leg, a guitar is sitting on it, your left leg uh, points forward. This part of your leg is in the same line with uh, your the left I don't know, left part, of, left part of your body. You have a little gap between your legs, maybe a 45 degree angle and um, the guitar the neck of the guitar should also have 45 degree angle the headstock is in the same line with your eyes the um, sound hole is in the same line with your face uh, too your shoulders are straight so like this yeah straight shoulders straight spine and uh, and back mm -hmm. and also don't bend forward to the guitar to see see your hand more but if you really want to see what you are doing <laughs> in your fretting hand just uh, lay back a little and your the guitar will follow you guitar shouldn't be perpendicular to the floor but but kind of okay so uh, you can bend it towards yourself a little bit uh, but 
but not too much. In the right hand, you need to find a very simple natural position. You need to put your hand above the sound hole and uh, imagine that your hand is the continuation of your arm. So it continues uh, your arm like this very simply. And uh, so you want to avoid rough angles like this or rough angles like this because I don't know, it breaks the continuation. So very, simple, uh, very simply, how it would uh, follow your arm. That's basically it, I think. So another super important thing I want to mention very, very quickly is the chair you are using for your practice sessions, because we all have uh, different heights. We all prefer slightly a different position. So, so we need different height uh, to sit on. So I want you to look at this. If I'm sitting on this chair like this, uh, both hand, uh, hands, both feet on the floor, uh, my leg is, uh, is parallel to the floor, so it's not pointing down, it's not uh, pointing up, but, uh, but this part of my leg is, is kind of parallel to the floor. So to get this, you need a chair that has the same height as your lower leg. So <laughs> what I did when I, when I bought this chair, what I did is that I measured the length of my lower leg and uh, and i just bought a chair that had the same same height <laughs> and it's perfect i love it this is this is a perfect practice chair for me i i highly advise you to invest in a good chair because it's it's game changing but as i told you at the beginning of the video i'm not so happy about um the concept of food stall because because it's based on this asymmetrical sitting and it's not good for your health your body is is basically symmetrical so if you are practicing hours and hours with one uh, raised leg and the other leg is on the floor your back and your spine will get hurt and uh, this is what happened to me after a few years and uh, i experienced really bad uh, back pain so i was i was uh, experimenting with with guitar support. And I tried a few, I tried uh, Ergoplay, for example, I tried other, other stuff. And uh, I found that for me, guitar lift works really well. Guitar lift, guitar lift is, guitar lift is a pretty recent thing on the market. And, uh, and it's an amazing guitar support. I, I want to show it to you. I love it. This is what I advise to my students too. If, if I see that my students are playing with, uh, with footstool, I advise them to switch to guitar lift. Obviously, with guitar lift, you also need to figure out which angles uh, works the best for you. But, you know, uh, you, you need to do that with, with every guitar support. And the best thing about this, about this simple uh, guitar support is that it's just, it's just perfectly adjustable. I like... I, I love how simple it is. I love the simplicity of the design, of the idea. It's just, I don't know, it calms me. <laughs> so I just put it on the back of the guitar like this. I don't push it too, too hard and I'm ready to go. So that's basically it. <laughs> so I highly recommend to experiment with, uh, with with guitar support. It doesn't have to be uh, guitar lift, but anything that can help you to reduce the stress in your back uh, is, is a good choice. But even if you decide to go with, uh, with a guitar support, let it be guitar lift or anything else, you have plenty of options. Uh, I advise you to, to try to sit down well with a footstool first, especially if you are a beginner especially if you already have a footstool. You need to learn the good posture first. And uh, with, a, with a footstool, it's, it's pretty easy. Mm, so what I did when I switched from guitar lift, uh, no, so when I switched from footstool to guitar lift, I, uh, I sat down with my footstool, how I, like to, how I like to sit. Then I hold the guitar. I will show you, that's, that's more simple. So, 
So this is my general posture. This is how I usually like to sit. And, uh, and the footstool is under my left leg. So what I do is that I try to hold the guitar. Uh, I, bring, I bring the guitar lift closer first. So I try to hold the guitar like this. And I try to put down my leg without moving the guitar. So now I know that if both of my legs are sitting on the floor, the guitar should be at this angle. The next thing I do is that I try to put the guitar lift behind the guitar and to find, find its place. Okay, it should be good, something like that. Of course, then you can adjust, you know, then, but this is just a general posture. And now, now it's on and it looks identical to the posture I used with the footstool. So I think, I think this is how you should switch from footstool to guitar lift. You need to define a good posture first, and that's how you know where to put the guitar lift then, or any, any other guitar supports, you know. Uh, so this is my last tip. I hope you find this video valuable. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and please consider becoming a patron, because uh, that helps me to keep continuing what I'm doing here and to, to become a full-time content creator and musician. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care and hope to see you next time. Bye.